Hi, I'm Dr. Erin Muller. I'm the science director of our International Center for Coral Reef Research and Restoration, and I study coral diseases. So it's interesting timing that in the middle of this global pandemic, we have a publication coming out on a coral disease epizootic that's happening right in the Florida Reef Tract, right under the surface of the water. So this new paper studied where and when the stony coral tissue loss disease has been occurring throughout the Florida Reef Tract from 2014 uh, to 2017. So we looked at a couple different things we were hoping to identify where the hotspots of disease activity occurred throughout that time period and to study how the disease was moving throughout the reef tract and also what ecological variables could be influencing whether a reef got disease and how severe it was. In the publication, we have four maps that highlight the hotspots of the stony coral tissue loss disease from 2014 and 2017. Throughout 2015, these, the movement of the disease north and south off of Biscayne Bay, and then the movement of the disease outbreak into the upper Florida Keys in 2017 as what we think are currents moving the um, pathogenic agents throughout the reef tract. It was really important for us to understand where and when this stony coral tissue loss disease was occurring because it gives us an idea of the widespread nature of the impact, um, how severe it was spatially, and gives us an idea of what could be potentially transmitting the disease. So one of our next steps is actually to look at how hydrodynamics could potentially influence the spread of a disease like stony coral tissue loss disease. And so the impacts of the stony coral tissue loss disease can be and is quite devastating because we're losing the last bit of stony corals that we have throughout the Florida Reef Tract to this epizootic. So coral reefs, especially in the Florida Reef Tract, are super important because they are estimated to be worth at least $8 billion to the state economy. They provide over 70,000 local jobs and they help bring visitors to our state and want to see healthy coral reefs. Um, and they also are the most biologically diverse ecosystem in the ocean. So it's just good to have healthy coral reefs to have healthy biological diversity in our oceans as well. 